Hi everybody, it's me Sonic, and with me today is also Sonic. Sonic. Yes. Hi Sonic. Hey, what's up, Sonic? Oh shoot, I was about to start a Sonic Mania there. Hi, I'm Hedge God. This is my first non-channel intro video. Uh, this is not Sonic. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Howdy. Howdy, geeks and gamers. I, I mean, I might as well be Sonic. You know, I'm just as fast. I know. <laughs> I, I what I think of 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 Sonic I think of Alex. <laughs> uh, Alex has a channel Turbo Zone, but we also podcast over on the Button Mapper, so you can check this out or check us out over there. Uh, today's content is special. I've been working for a while at setting a high score, and Alex, I know you probably think I'm crazy for doing it for Sonic One, but you know what? I really like the game. I just match you, and this is crazy. But here's, here's my, my Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so beat my high score. Uh, there's a couple uh, challenge modes in the original Sonic 1 on Nintendo Switch. One of them is Mega Play. And it's basically a score attack where they drop the slowest zones in the original Sonic game. And you also get the added bonus of Spin Dash and Drop Dash. So it makes the challenge pretty good. Uh, in the rankings, I am currently number 9. Meaning, you can just go watch my video on the high score service. I think that's pretty awesome. What do you think, Alex? I mean, you're doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you you've been putting in the time, man. I've been I've been like for the past like I don't know month or so. You've just like every like every time I talk to you, you're just like, yeah, I'm playing Sonic One. <laughs> or like, I'll go to my Switch and do something, and I was like, tell you playing Sonic, and I was like, oh my god, he's he's he, he's at it. There's probably like a library of pictures that I like that that I've sent you of just my high score. All right, today I'm number ninety nine. Today. I'm oh number. yeah, yeah. You like updated me like, oh yeah, today I'm this one. I was like, look at that. I got one. I got one rank higher. And I'm just like, he's he's gonna get there. <laughs> I gotta go fast. <laughs> they call me Hedge God for a reason. But we're gonna boot up the video, and this is the commentary version. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope. You enjoy the banter. Alex, let me know when you have it uh, booted up. It's, it's, I've had mine queued up since before we started recording. Since the days of time. I'm just waiting on you. Um, I'm going to rewind. I'm going to put in the Sega Rewind feature. Yeah, I, I'm at 01. Like Same here. 01, yeah. So we'll start on three. Okay. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. one Green Hill Zone Act One. Green Hill Zone. <laughs> the finest. Everyone's favorite. Boom. So what's, what's your uh okay okay, g give me some pro tips. Like what's your tip to, to learning how to play Sonic? Okay, starting Sorry. with Green Hill Zone Act One, uh you gotta start with like a jump in the beginning. Uh, to build up a little bit of momentum and then notice I'm like bopping on some of the creatures they give you some momentum it's super important because there's two rocks really early on oh here's a pro tip you just saw me p uh, pass the little signpost there if you let it continue spinning and you're on the complete right side of the screen and you jump at the exact right time then you can just keep jumping around here and you saw I hit some of the targets one of those targets in every zone gives you 10,000 points yeah and I noticed that and you got to beat 30 seconds. Any stage that you can do that for, you get 50,000 points. It's so much higher than the t measly 10,000 you would get. Now here in Green Hill Zone Act 2, uh, it's you don't have to do it if you want to beat 30, but it's cool to just like kind of avoid some of the space uh, with the spikes early on. And then you can just run past all of these hills. Oh, yeah, and I saw that. Oh, my God. This one... This one, if you just go for the speed run, you could probably break 25 pretty easily. Um, it is tricky since if you, you know you get the the fast shoes uh, to time the jump at the end there correctly, but this is not a bad one for you know getting that high score or that uh that under 30 run. Do you get anything for jumping into the bonus ring? No. No. Okay. <laughs> just 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 a little. Bing! I did notice the, the, the you take advantage of that drop dash a lot during this. Um, oh yeah, I'm definitely abusing it. 
It's I mean it's helpful. I I love the drop dash. I, I think it's um, a great addition, and I hope I hope they do Sonic Three on Switch so they can add that in there too. It's funny because after playing Mania, you know the drop dash there is a little more benign, but in this one it like significantly gives you momentum. Yeah, it just alters the way that you play the the game. It alters the beast that is Sonic. 1. Well, because like they 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 used to be my my issue with the first game was uh, like it's the slowest of the original games on Genesis, you know. Um, then they this this version added the spin dash and the drop dash and stuff, and it just makes it a lot faster. Let me give you another pro tip. So every one up box that you tackle gives you an extra five thousand points. Okay. Doesn't do that in the normal game, but in Mega Play it does for some reason. So that's like a good alternative if you can't get the speed run in uh, a couple of these stages. Like there's there's not much purpose to go for a speed run on Act Three here. You only have like two minutes anyway to clear it. It's better to just go for as many rings as you can. Note I already got like 120, so that's going to give me 12,000 points. Okay. Then add to that the two one-up boxes I got, and that's like 22,000 points. And then you beat Eggman. And you get a hundred or a thousand. <laughs> You freed the flickies. Great job, Green Hill. Now we're on to Marble, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> not in Mega Play. Yeah, they, I mean they they cut out like half the game. It, well, if you you know rank it according to timing, then yes, Spring Yard, <laughs> baby. What do you think about Spring Yard? You like it? Oh, that's okay. It's fun. Here's a trick: go uh, use this the bumper to get on the platform, get the one up box, get the speed boots. And then use this other big red bumper to clear all of those annoying boxes. I think Spring Yard would be a lot more fun if Casino Night and uh, the one uh, Carnival, whatever, in three and what was the one in um, Mania? Um, Studiopolis, is it? Studiopolis? If those zones di didn't do this type of zone way better, I think I would like the zone a lot more. This is a really tricky one. Some people are able to get under 30 seconds here. I've had trouble. The best I can do is like 32, which I didn't do here. I didn't even break 45. If you can't break 30, you want to try and, you know, get between 30 and 44 seconds. You'll get 10,000 points. I think I only got 5,000 for the time bonus, but, you know, take what you can get. This is where it starts to get a little slower. There's a couple ways you can go. You can go above the stage or below the stage. I like going below because there's an extra one-up box. So it's another 5,000 points. Do you ever take this route? Yeah. Uh, whenever I, I play, I, I usually go below. Okay. Usually. I used to go above, but uh, I like kind of just seeing these different paths. It was It was kind of surprising to discover this one. That's a tricky area to get through. Is it like the, the, the part in the wall? You got to be careful. You do have to go fast. Like I, I cleared three of these boxes in one run. So that's cool. But And then this part's always a pain. Hey, it's ooh, pinball. Ooh. It's Sonic it's pinball. A, it's me. My grain. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Not so nice after all. You know, that has to, that, that, that has to hurt Sonic's head. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> there's a trick with these spikes you know one of them it, like at least when you're going down these uh, little corridors one of them will be in the opposite position as the other and I'm running low on time otherwise I would have gone for the you know knocking out some crabs Mr. Krabs exactly a yard of springs it's funny too that like I don't know it's I find it funny that like Sonic One is the game that you got into, like the most so far. You know, it's nostalgic. It's really. I mean, it's the first one that I really cleared. I think what was it like, twenty fourteen or twenty thirteen? I got my Genesis, and with it, Sonic One. Yeah. And so, like that was that was the one I stayed up and I played. And, it's a you know, I, I've I've played bits of two and three before, but. Here's another trick. If you get, if you bop four enemies uh, in sequence, the fourth one will give you a thousand points. A lot of people like to go for the invincibility up top there. It's not really necessary for me. Because you have the shield first off. 
and there's really not that much to collide with. I used to have problems getting caught between these boxes in my normal play, but I don't know if they just like fix that for the Switch or something, but it hasn't really been happening to me for a while. I think when we did our runs on the PS4, we were having that issue. Ooh, th that version's just janky, though. Mm hmm This the is so much one. cleaner. You know, I have that same collection on Switch, but I haven't tried playing Sonic 1 on there because I have the Sega Ages release. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, what's the point? Right. But I, I wonder if it's just as janky on the Switch version. It'd be good to know. But it's the same publisher, so I'd imagine. Yeah. DT three or whatever it was. Is that the publisher's fault or the developers? Well, 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 the the publisher Sega, of course, but the developers DT DT three or whatever it was. See that jump there would have got me like yeah a, a huge collision, but it didn't happen here. Yeah, I, well, I remember when we we were doing our speed runs that 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 gave me a lot of issues there too. Now, if you wanted to go for time, you could really finesse this and just run to the end and, you know, avoid, like, the... I don't even know what to call it. The column section? <laughs> uh, no. The section of columns. But I like to take my time here, get the ring boxes. Uh, there's a trick, too. I didn't pull it off in this run. Maybe in the future I would. But if you can bounce off of the, uh, the little bumpers there, you can get to an extra 1-up box. I don't mean these springs at the bottom. There's like those uh, pinball yeah, bumpers up yeah, top. Yeah, the ones up top by the word cope. Mm hmm. Which no, is there nothing for to, nothing to cope reason. with in Mega Play. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why that's there. I wish yeah. somebody, like, I just want to, like, have an explanation of why this level tells me to cope. <laughs> well, there might be a good map out video for that. What am I coping with? <laughs> this proves the Eggman is easy theory. I don't know. I've never had much of an issue with these Eggman battles in the first game. No, the first game's bosses are pretty simple. The only one that's dumb is Labyrinth. Ugh. It's it's an interesting segment, but, uh, you know. Well, Labyrinth, Labyrinth is just dumb. Which is where we're going next, right? Nope. We're straight to Starlight. <laughs> don't, don't blink, because you might miss me speedrun through Act 1. This one's tricky, but it's not as hard as Breaking 30 on the next one, which I didn't manage to do. Uh, there's a couple ways that people like to do this. I like to boot up the spin dash um, when I get to the tops of the like the little loop sections. I don't even know what to call it. Hold down when you go through these segments. It'll help you, you know, uh, get to the top. So I did yeah. this one in 29. So awesome, 50,000 points. Uh, the 10,000 bumper or target is at the far right. But this one took me a little bit of practice to be able to break 30 on. I really like using Drop Dash and Spin Dash in Starlight, though. This is uh, a tricky one, this Starlight Act 2. And here's I, why. I, I, Take a look. Um, that jump right there, I usually get caught up uh, trying to do that jump. You know, like, uh, yeah. what will happen is sometimes the jump will just stop me. So it's very unpredictable. I do like, and then you can clear a bit here, but you have to play it really well to break 30 seconds. I knew I it wasn't happening for me, so I went for the ring boxes. Go ahead, I'm, I keep talking, go. And in terms of the first game, I think Starlight's one of the better stages, like the best stages. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause it, it really does like, you could tell that this stage really did influence a lot of what like two and three would do. Mm -hmm. and, and CD to some extent. It's definitely like one of the strongest points of the first game. Like yeah. getting to Starlight. There's like that satisfaction too of beating Labyrinth and getting to Starlight. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so my score is already at 335,000. Um... I wouldn't have a top 10 score by now, but I'm close. If you can uh, break 30 seconds on four stages, then you're well on your way to the top 10. Cool. I love Starlight. And, you know, it's not even for the points for this one, but this one just goes so fast. This What's your goal? Are you, are, you, are you still working towards getting higher than nine? Yes. Um, because this is actually the first stage where I goof. You're going to see it. 
Uh, but I had a couple opportunities for a higher score. On Starlight Act 2, I had an opportunity that I didn't take. So I'm going to try it again with a safer run next time. And I think that'll carry me to 8th place, maybe 7th. All right. First place. <laughs> <laughs> there goes 7,000 points right there. Oof, yeah, I see that. At that point, I was like, no! <laughs> I was really playing it safe, though, after this, because I was like, oh, just breathe, Ted. Like, you can do this. You can get the high score. <laughs> You're Sonic. <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> I usually don't goof up on that one, but I, like, I forgot something. Like, if, if you're uh, not directly under him... Then he will drop the, the little spike balls. So at this point, I was like 20,000 points below 10th place. And I was like, all right, just play this one good, you know? Scrap brain can be tricky too if you're not well acquainted with it. Scrap brains, yeah, scrap brain can, can be tricky. It's a good one, though, I think. Yeah, I agree. I used to be like, okay, Scrap Brain, but after like getting to know it a little better, I think I enjoy it more. There's a bunch of hidden ring boxes, which is great. It's definitely better than uh, Metropolis, though. Mm-hmm. God. That one, what were they thinking? Now, there's like some deceptive platforms here. I much prefer this than the Mega Man platforms. Oh my gosh. Oh, vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> my, the sound of my nightmares right there. <laughs> that was a goof right there, but it's okay. I got a little uh, ambitious. Usually I can clear that jump just fine. But Is this the North American version or the Japanese version? I usually play Japanese just because I know the parallax in the back yeah, is a little better. Parallax. Yeah, because well, I was really looking at, the, like, like looking at that background back there. It was really... Sticking out to me. At this point, I was like, gotta go slow. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go very slow. Gotta take my time. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Uh, yeah. I'm actually a little behind you now, but that's that's my fault. These damn pigs, man. Pigs in a blanket. It's like some uh, Donkey Kong shenanigans. Mm hmm. I wouldn't let him get the best of me. You have to go fast, dude. You have to take your time and enjoy the experience. <laughs> At this point, I, I cleared the top 10 rankings, so I was happy with that. Act 2 is, is also tricky. There's like you can go under the stage, but it's it's really um, a little more difficult to avoid all of the hazards. So I like to play it safe. Don't use the spin dash there; it'll screw you because you go right into the spring. How does, how does Eggman get around this place? <laughs> With sonic speed. Wow, 
Well, the final boss is kind of lazy. I uh, I really do like the the lead up. It's pretty dramatic. And the one thing I really like about Mega Play is that it completely does away with uh, Act Three for Scrap Brain. Yeah. The uh, the water segments. Ooh. Ooh. Here's a little trick. Get that one up box. Bam, baby. And two rings. Does Sonic have like a, a thousand wives? Because he has so many rings. So many gold rings. I I always liked the ring mechanic in Sonic. I think it was a, a cool way of doing a health system, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. Because because it, it makes the collectibles matter. Like in Mario and stuff like you know, in games like that, like the collectibles are only used for like one ups really. Mhm. Mm but in Sonic, like you need them. And then there are no high score bumpers at the end here, as far as I know. So you can just run around. I think my my goal, I'm not going to get more than a, a thousand points for beating Eggman here, but my goal for the next time I do this is to break 400,000. Final zone. Oh yeah, yeah, they just cut right to the end. Mm hmm. The best part of waking up is Eggman, is Eggman in, in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> Eggman in the cut. Supposedly, there's a trick to. Like, yeah, you'll never find me. <laughs> yes, I'm going to hide in the columns. <laughs> the columns of death. You'll never check here. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha ha. I know you are you are jealous of my mustache. It takes a true Eggman to grow an, a, a mustache like this. I take what? It is nice to have spin dash for this one. It, it makes it a lot simpler. A, a simple boss battle, even simpler. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, those lasers are just like nothing, you know. Yeah. Like, meh, I'm gonna throw cotton candy at you, and I hope you dodge it. <laughs> hmm. I know you're allergic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, to, cotton, cotton candy! <laughs> according to popular myth, cotton candy is, is an allergen to the hedgehog race. Hmm. Me one week, this cotton candy! <laughs> yeah. I thought they were chili dogs. <laughs> Boom. The, opposite, the the opposite of cotton candy is chili dogs. Mm. So there you have it. I don't know. I think you, maybe I'm ahead of you right now. But. Yeah. Okay. He just blew up. Okay. Peace, Eggman. That's the run. It's my Sonic run. You did good, man. Thank you. I'm proud, I'm proud of you. I put in the work. <laughs> But I enjoyed it. This was a uh, a lot of fun. I'm I'm like not done yet either. I because it's so hard to to put in all that work to master a game and then just be like, okay, good, gonna do Sonic Two now. I don't know if you have that feeling with games sometimes. What was it? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> my feelings. You hurt them. I'm sorry, Teddy. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, as I was saying, uh, I feel like once you put all this time into a game and you really start to master it, it's very hard to just put it down, especially like when you have a ranking like number nine. I could, I totally agree with that. I've had games that I've, I've had to, I either beat it or like I've had to go back and play multiple times. Like I've, um, I think a good example like the original Jack and Daxter I've played that game many times and gotten like 100% multiple times just because like I want to see how quick I can do it you know yeah I'm that way about Ocarina usually 
Uh, but this time, I guess it was Sonic 1. Open your ass, Sonic. Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> I'd be I'd be excited to see. Are you ever, are you, are you ever gonna move on to Sonic Two on Switch? Yeah, but that final boss is just not good. Yeah, but what does the Mega Play do on that version? Uh, I wonder. Yeah, I'd be curious. I'll probably invest in it. This is like the Sonic Week. I think it's his birthday or something. Happy birthday, Sonic! Blow out your candles. Sonic's, a Sonic's old. Twenty nine year old hedgehog. That's pretty pretty long and. In human years, it's pretty long in hedgehog years. It's just long in years. It's, that's a that's a grown man. <laughs> that's a manhog right there. He- hedgehogs usually don't even live that long. They're like six six years or something like that. <sighs> Sonic out here showing it up. That's why he's super Sonic. <laughs> they call me Sonic. What would Sonic One be like with Super Sonic? Uh, it'd, broken. It'd be nonsense. Like what's the point? Yeah, it, would be, <laughs> it would be total nonsense. <laughs> I'd be willing to try it, but yeah, that, that would be that would just be kind of crazy. But um, yeah, man, I'm excited to see you move further up through the rankings. Thank you. Me too. I don't know if I'll do another video on this. I guess you guys who are watching at home can let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy today's high score run with commentary from Alex from the Turbo Zone? What up? Geeks and gamers. <laughs> geeks and ga- What up, geeks and gamers? <laughs> it's me, Sonic. <laughs> it's me, Sonic. Out here again, so ho- high scores. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully uh, we'll have some more interesting Sonic content here on Hedge God. <laughs> Hedge God. Yes, sir. And uh, let us know, too, what Sonic content would you like to see from us, etc. And be sure to subscribe for more of the Hedge God. Do you want to see me talk about Sonic 06? That's on you. I know. That that era of Sonic is on me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you taking one for the team. <laughs> yeah, it's it's my pleasure. I love it. Okay. Um, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs>